The build-up has been intense, and now we are just about ready to go. Make no mistake, the world is watching. It's the Copa Libertadores final. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. You can guarantee we're in for something special. It's Boca Juniors, and they take on Atletico Mineiro. Well, what a match this promises to be. Both teams have been phenomenal throughout the earlier rounds. Well, that counts for nothing now. It's all about performing on the big stage. I've been in this situation before, and it's all about composure, not letting the atmosphere get to you. Looking forward to this one, Derek. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Opposition starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Well, Lee, if you've ever been in the company of Boca fans, they demand success. It's no accident that they've won the Copa Libertadores on six separate occasions. Yeah, absolutely, but let's not forget they've lost five times in the final as well. It's been nip and tuck as far as that's concerned. So much history connected to this team in finals. And so the match is underway. Game possession. Carlos Tevez. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. He's in with a chance. Can they put it away? Danger averted. Frank Fabra. Firing it towards goal. Not straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, he's got all sorts going on for him, this player. Trickery, I don't mind that. I can play against trickery. Pace is a bit more of a problem. As soon as you've got a player like that, you now have to manage him a lot, lot closer. That's a splendid piece of challenging. Buffarini. Could be a chance to break here. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Campuzano. Good visualisation and execution. It's opening up for them. And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job, get behind the ball and save it. Ronaldo Esler. It's with Farinha. Good technique displayed. The possession lost, intercepted. And he's taken it away. Ronaldo Esler. Thumps clear. Villa. Campuzano. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Individual quality coming to the fore. Surely! 
A very enterprising break, and they were almost rewarded late. Well, counter-attack football at his best. Soak up the pressure, hit the opposition. All of a sudden, you get a chance on goal. It wasn't far off, was it? Simao Acuna. And Michael Catarino. This attack looks highly promising. And you need your defender to take charge. Durado. Cut it. An easy meet for the keeper given that cross. This might be ideal for the counter. They need to get bodies back. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. He's driven in the corner. So tight, this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Salvio, others in the vicinity. Veering in field here. It's there for him! Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. Tevez, Salvio, Buffarini, targets to aim at, and a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final, really puts the pressure on the opposition. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? the game then Rosberto Dorado oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily and the referee is going to add on three minutes and he's broken free it's opened up for him. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited.
Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? Second goal for them here. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Michael Catarino. Thiago Pombeira. And Michael Catarino. Well, he's given it away. He's enjoying space. Great block. And with Fernandes, moving into the advanced position. Salvio. It has to be! Well, that was simply miles off target. Dear me. Oh, close your eyes when you're watching this one. It's horrific. Simao Acuna, Fabrio Farinha. Ronaldo Esler is with Farinha. They do pass the ball with authority. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Campuzano. A bit sloppy in possession. He was certainly in, the chance was there, but credit has to go to the defender link. Well, part of the defender's job is to put players off doing their job, and that's exactly what they do there. It's a decent effort in the end, but under pressure. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Frank Fabra, Campuzano. There's a slide draw pass. Well, great read there to intercept. And he was in the right place to intercept. Thiago Pombeira. Simao Acuna. Good-looking sequence, good numerical situation. He's had to go for it, wins the ball. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it fizzled out. He's lost it. It's with Thiago Pombeira, Dorado. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game.
Routine, really. Carlos Izquierdos. Fabra. Lopez. Frank Fabra. And they are on the move again. And the cross is very much on. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Substitution time it is. Fabra. It needs an accurate cross. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Well, it petered out. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Can he finish this? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Corner kick played in. And tipping it over the crossbar. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. So the corner played into the box. Well, not quite. Well, the corner right on the back of the last one. he's made a right hash of delivering that corner well he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting Lee yeah well the stats don't lie not enough has been done by the team and he has to take some of the blame for that too easy to mark which suggests to me he needs to run around a little bit more it's not rocket science Derek Marconi on the ball Rosberto Dorado He's got the right idea with that pass. Easy peasy for the goalkeeper. One minute remaining. And the emphasis is on creativity. Can't miss, surely! It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. go back to the goal that was scored it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now Ailton Valpasos it's with Conradi. It did look as though it was rather... And now it is official! Argentina's most popular club side have won the Copa Libertadores! Victory for Boca! Spare a thought for the losing team. An emotional occasion. And Lee, the bottom line is, they've done it. Well, the opposite ends of the emotions, Derek. When you're a winner, you don't think about anything else other than your teammates. 
but when you're the loser, you're standing and watching all this go ahead in front of you. It's really devastating, but it's all about them now, the winners. And they put so much work into this campaign. It has paid off. And now for the walk every player in South America wants to make. Awaiting them, that piece of sterling silver and their name will shortly be on the pedestal. Well, it's always superstition. Don't touch the trophy before you win it. And this lad's going to get his hands on it now. What a brilliant performance and well-deserved. Boca Juniors, the winners of the Copa Libertadores. And this is only the start of what will be wild celebrations, Lee. Well, this deserved as well, all that hard work during the season, all those training ground hours, and also the families as well. They'll enjoy this because they sacrifice stuff as well when the players are away. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team now they get to join in the celebrations go into the crowd and give them the cup that's what i say well then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet lee and now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken well you know exactly where i'd be sitting in that photo don't you derek I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight in the front. <laughs>